This is Family Time 153. We're talking about discipline. We're continuing our discussion on self-management. We've talked about our goals, what we really want, and then creating that mindset where we understand, we recognize that our dreams, our hopes, our goals were given to us for the express purpose of being brought to life. And recognizing that other people may not understand our path because that wasn't given to them. It was given to us. Once we believe that we can achieve those things, once we're willing to advocate for ourselves, then we have to establish some discipline. Sometimes discipline gets a bad rap. We think of it as being structured, that it takes away our freedom, but that is the opposite of the reality. Discipline sets us free. Discipline lets us have the life we want to have. Anything worth having in life has a cost. We have to pay the price. That's just the way it is. And more often than not, the things that are really significant, the things that are really going to be important to us, aren't going to be easy. We always want that. It's kind of built into us. We want the miracle cure, the miracle diet. We want the silver bullet that's going to solve all of our problems. And we think we can do that. We think we can change ourselves, change our situations with some grand sweeping gesture, with one singular action. And that is very, very rarely the case. More often than not, success in any aspect of our lives is about doing the little mundane things over and over and over again. And I hate to break it to you, but that's a big part of adult life. When you have a career, when you have a family, there are things that just have to be done over and over and over again. The key is to embrace those things, to embrace the process, to recognize that even if we're not where we would like to be, if we're on the right path, if we're taking steps forward, no matter how small, how gradual, no matter how difficult those steps may come, We're moving in the right direction. And that is success. That is how we bring discipline into our lives. And we've all done it at some time or another. I want you to think about that this week. What is something in your life, a time in your life when you had to set aside immediate gratification for something you wanted down the road, something that you had to work for. And then I want you to think about how you felt after you achieved that thing. Because things that are given to us are hard to value, hard to appreciate. It's easy to take those things for granted. When we have to work for something, we have to fight and claw and bleed for something, that means something to us. We have something invested. We've paid into it. So then the returns are more meaningful. And that's the other beautiful thing about discipline. It allows us to achieve the meaningful things we want in our lives. So I want you to think about that this week with relation to our goals, what are some things you've already done that show discipline and how can you apply that to the other things, the other areas and goals that you have? Until next time, much love.